What's going on guys? This is Mike Noid and today we are going to take a look at not one but two Skylander lots. So I haven't bought a Skylanders lot in quite a while because my collection of Skylanders has become big enough to the point where I have all of the common figures that are pretty much being sold in my area. The fact that I pretty much need imaginary figures makes it harder to find what I'm looking for. But sometimes you come across a lot that happens to have some really uncommon figures that are just such a good deal that you need to pick it up. <laughs> and I picked up two of those. So I picked up two lots on the same day. The first lot was $80 that I found on Facebook Marketplace, and the second lot was $45 I found on OfferUp. So let's go ahead and see what I got. So we're first gonna look at the $80 lot, and we're gonna go ahead and tackle the portals, because uh, I have way too many of those. The first portal we have is a superchargers portal it, it looks fine let's see this one is the wii wii u ps3 and ps4 portal uh which i have too many of those and then we have another one uh same it's, it's literally the same portal they're they're the same they're wii wii u ps3 and ps4 so I, now i got two of those here is a swap force portal it might be an imaginators portal um but this one is for the wii wii u PS3 and PS4. Okay, so this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. Here is a SSA portal. However, this one is for the Xbox 360. You know, it can only be used on a, a Xbox 360, so maybe these will be um, more sought after for your typical Xbox user. And then we got two wireless SSA portals for the Wii. One does not have the back or the dongle. And then this one might have it. It might be under here. I'm going to check it out. This, it, I, I don't know what to do with this, but this, I might keep this. All right, I mean, it feels like there's something in there. There might be batteries in here, um, which we'll just throw out. Yep. No, the dongle isn't in here. Oh man, that kind of sucks. They were just batteries. God dang it. I mean, it's fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. All right, so now we can look at the actual Skylanders themselves. I actually have Imaginators up. That's the game I'm gonna be testing the Skylanders with because I have some Imaginator stuff, some juicy stuff. I want to be able to check out everything uh, in the slot. We have Bouncer to begin with, which looks pretty good. I think everything's intact. Uh, let's go ahead and try him out. All right, he works. He works i like to see that he even goes up pretty nicely as well so that's also a plus another giant is crusher which also looks intact the hammer is a bit loose but that's pretty much what you get with all crushers these days this one glows up a lot nicely as well we got another crusher as well so I ended up getting two crushers in this lot, which glows up and also comes up in the game. We got another giant, which is Ninjini. Um, this sword looks fine. Uh, this one, a little bit bent, but it's still intact, which is amazing. And she glows up pretty nicely as well. And of course comes up in the game. Okay, so this one I've been needing, we got Tree Rex, of course. And it's kind of, I, I don't think I've ever seen a damaged Tree Rex, so he looks good. Um, the arm cannon is a little bit loose up here, but I think that's probably typical for tree rexes nowadays. Let's go CNC. Yep, he lights up as well, which is good. Comes up in the game, looking all delicious. And I can go ahead and throw him into my tree rex pile. Next up is chill. Um, everything here is bent. This also, this chill is a blue lip chill. As you can see, her weapon's kind of bent. The ears on her. Helmet are kind of bent, but other than that, I mean, everything's there. All right, next up, I have two Series 2 Cinders. Uh, the wings have different shades to them. This one has a little bit more pinker ones. These are uh, a little bit darker, which is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, same thing on the back, um, but everything is intact, which is nice. So this is our first supercharger from this lot we got oh man what is his name Bub bubble blowing pop fizz bubble popping pop fizz, no, I, man what what's his name actually hold on i forgot i'm gonna be putting him on the portal and we'll see his name um 
His name is Big Bubble Pop Fizz. I was close. I'm sorry, there's a lot of a lot of bubbles. Not really, but I mean, he's cool. Next up is a light core. Uh, this is a light core shroom boom. Everything looks good to him. Pretty good looking. He's actually one of my favorite light cores, even though I'm not a huge fan of light cores. Let's see. See how he works. Because look, you got the mushroom and his eye glowing up, and I think that looks really cool. Alright, so this is a pretty good figure for this lot. We have Springtime Trigger Happy, one of my favorite variants. I mean, it's, it's genius, you know, making his his um big old missile uh, uh, an Easter egg, making him pink. And he even has the, the hat in the game as well. Going back to superchargers, we have two super shot stealth elves um these are pretty common uh because they came with pretty much every what you would call it skylander superchargers starter pack okay so i have a swap force situation right now i have blast zone i also have another blast zone i also have wash buckler and then i also have blast buckler so i am missing the zone part and the wash part so i just have blast buckler which is which is fine it, it's kind of crazy how there's we're almost three blast zones in here next up i have the milk riding dive clops very christmas variant um i mean it, it literally looks like milk but he looks good let me see well what's his actual name I actually i actually forgot his actual name missile toe dive clops which okay that makes sense next i got jeff Vec. i i like the figure the character not not that good um at least in giants itself swap force i think jet Vec is a lot better next is drill sergeant at this is a series two one um everything looks intact which is great oh wow okay so we have a third series 2 cinder i really thought i got all the cinders out but apparently i didn't so this is a pretty good find we got turbocharged donkey kong which also works as an amiibo and his vehicle which are in pretty good condition i mean we got we got the handle still on it uh the wheels still look in good shape i mean yeah, man, like this will go for a good amount of money. All right, so the vehicle can be detected, so we know it works. And this is Dive Clops vehicle right here. Um, wow, I am blanking on the name. I uh, haven't played Superchargers in a while, and I usually don't use the sea vehicles that much. Dive Bomber is, I think, th yes, that's the name. That has to be the name. All right, we got some SSA characters in here as well, and I am seeing two because we got two wrecking balls oh man we got the best skylander in the world oh, is that prison break Ooh, always love seeing prison break man he's a delicious looking skylander he looks amazing his moveset amazing god tier he is one of the skylanders of all time hands down one of the Skylanders. all right sticking with ssa we got two trigger happies both in good condition both have their tongues in intact both have their ears their guns okay so we got some good news and bad news good news is we got a sonic boom right still intact still looking pretty fresh the bad news is we also have another one that's uh missing a head and unfortunately the head's not in the bag um and it's gone Ooh, we got another tree rex but this one's in mini form uh this one is barkley this is from the the giants um frito-lay packs which looks pretty good speaking of sidekicks we have i small also from giants which looks in good condition as well okay so we have legendary stealth elf i really like legendary stealth elf i really like how this one looks she deserved a, a legendary variant for carrying um ssa so much for being one of the strongest skylanders in that game one of my favorite tech skylanders of course boomer oh boomer here is spyro two of them as a matter of fact i i know spyro's a little bit overrated 
but man, I just have such a soft spot for Spyro. And I'm not talking about just a character, I'm talking about Spyro as the Skylander. Here's another sidekick, Dumpling. We almost have the whole set. I don't think we got Mini Genie, but Dumpling easily, I think, is my favorite sidekick out of the, the Giants, even out of the SSA ones as well. All right, so I got the portal here because we got a Light Core. Light Core Grim Creeper, the legendary version, of course. Like, you need Light Core Grim Creeper. I think there's no other way to, to use him. I think he's better as a Light Core than his, you know, regular figure. I mean, he glows. Not, not too good, but maybe... Yeah, no, he's kind of dim. All right, we got a little bit of a, a Pirate Seas um, bundle here. We got Terra Finn and the, the Pirate Seas Adventure Pack level. Okay, so here is the second damage figure. Uh, Hex, of course, missing her arm, but we do have the arm. The arm is included. So we could, I don't know, so maybe someone can just glue it on. I guess continuing that Pirate Seas bundle, we did get the magic items for it. We got the swords and the the hidden treasure and we got the dark light crypt stuff um we got the level we got ghost roaster and we got the time twister magic item but we didn't get the elixir i was looking for the elixir the whole time man we didn't get it that's like my favorite magic item okay we got we got a holiday variant um god what was this one's name bumble blast jolly bumble blast that's the name that's that's the correct name also one of my favorite variants you really can't go wrong with jolly bumble blast all right so i got not one not two but three ninja stealth elves i'm probably gonna start my own collection now i mean like look at this man they're the three ninjas man someone really liked stealth elf because we got two stealth elves uh series one um which both are in great condition both have their daggers and their ponytails and while we're on the topic of stealth elf we have her vehicle the stealth stinger um all blades are intact even the ones right there yep this vehicle is good to go all right so we have series one gilgrunt uh, which is interesting because we do have the C level pack trophy, um, but no, no supercharger Gilgrunt, which is unfortunate. So just to finish off the SSA figures in this slot, I have Flame Slinger. I also have Voodoo. Also have Double Trouble, and also have Stump Smash. All in good looking condition which is always nice so we're just about done with the figures but now we're getting to the juicy stuff here is just the earth creation crystal um i have this particular uh creation crystal already however make another imaginator and it'll be a completely different character um does it work oh ooh, who's who's the character okay they didn't make a character yet um all right i mean we got a blank creation crystal. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I might just sell it. I, I really don't need it. The main reason I got this slot is to get this blue chest. Now, we don't have a Wildstorm or Robo in this slot, which is unfortunate. This is the next best thing, though. Um, so here's the thing. I don't know what chest this is. However, I do have a method to find out because I already own a blue chest. This one here and this is for the cursed tiki temple which also i mean came with the wild storm figure so i'm gonna test it out okay so we just unlocked everything so this is the this is the cursed tiki temple stuff this is the one i have marked so i know for sure this is the cursed tiki temple so i will try this out so now we're gonna test out this unknown blue chest okay Yo, is this the Robo one? Bro, this might be the Robo one. Oh, um, I gotta keep it now. It unlocked new stuff. I'm I'm guessing I'm guessing it's the Robo one. That's something I didn't have before. Okay. I I just looked it up and yeah, definitely that was the Robo uh Lost Imaginite chest. So now I have both chests. Which, I honestly, I was just thinking, maybe it was just the Cursed Tiki Temple. I mean, it was a 50-50 shot. So, I, I now have both chests. Um, uh, sadly, no Wildstorm or Robo, though. But, I don't have to worry about the chest. I could just try to find a figure by itself. But, um, 
Uh, that's that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm not quite done with the lot here. I have trap team opened up here because we got a good amount of traps. So first I got two water tiki traps, pretty common. One is uh, kind of missing a little bit of the water symbol on the front there, but the other one looks in good condition. And then to finish up the water element, I got the water jug trap. And then, which actually looks pretty cool, are the water angel and the water axe and the die there's there's not a lot of dye in here so it's like it's not a hundred percent clear um but it is clearer than normal so i'll just show you uh what i'm talking about here we got this this is what a water trap should look like and then you have these that are just a little bit more clear and honestly like they look pretty cool i i think i still prefer you know like the actual full dye in here but these i mean they, they look good. So next up, I got two life hammers. Um, same situation here. Some of the uh, symbol is a little bit torn off. Um, and then the other one still looks good. Uh, but I mean, as long as they work in the game, that's all that really matters. Next up is the air jug trap. One of my favorite traps personally. We got three tech traps. We have two scepters and then one angel. I noticed the angel is a little bit lighter in color than the the scepters which is still pretty cool Ooh, hold on i completely forgot i just i <laughs> i put them aside because i was gonna put them in in the game um <laughs> i forgot about terabyte this is a trap team one um so this is like the the mini that that came in the double pack with bot i got three undead traps here i got two skulls and then one orb and then i have the magic skull, the fire torch, and then the earth orb. So we got the rest for the other elements. And finally, to finish off this slot, are part of the reason why I went ahead and got this slot, besides the blue chest, is a dark spider trap and a light owl trap. So just chilling in the lot, and an $80 lot with all of these figures. Depending on, on, on where I got them, maybe eBay, uh, two of these probably would have cost me around $80. So that's already a good deal in my eyes. All right, so that was everything from the first lot. Now we're going to look at the $45 lot uh, that I found the same day. Started off, we're going to look at some more giants. We got Hothead, which is, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Now we got to see how it glows. I'm not really a fan of how this one looks. I mean, it's literally just this up here. You really can't tell that much that is glowing. You know, I would have liked it if his hands lit up as well, but unfortunately, Activision did not do that. We got Ninjini. Um, this sword is pretty bent. Not, I mean, a lot more than the first Ninjini was, uh, but this one still looks good. It's usually this one up here that's always bent. And yep, this one lights up as well. We got our first Trap Master. And that is tough luck. Everything is intact. Her weapons are there. Her tail is there. Yep, this is a good looking tough luck. Ooh, this is a good one. Look at, ooh, is that dark turbocharged Donkey Kong? Also works as an amiibo too. I don't think we got his uh his vehicle in here, but I mean, just getting the the dark version is is a pretty good deal for forty five dollars. Speaking of dark Skylanders, looks like we have nightmare which looks amazing of course one of my favorite looking skylanders just personally not really that good in game uh but you know i mean toys for bob tried they tried oh i know some of y'all are gonna get excited for this one we got scratch i didn't know that she goes for like a good amount of money not too expensive but i mean not not a very common figure so the fact that we got scratch in this in this 45 dollar lot it is pretty good okay good news here we have a light core hex with her arms intact i mean yeah I, I i'm a huge fan of light core hex i really really like light core hex look at this she doesn't really glow that much i just i just thought the way they did it the way they handled it was pretty cool just keeping the portal there for a second we got a light core wham shell personally not one of my favorite skylanders out there uh then 
you know, just for personal reason. I no, not even just for personal reason. I just don't think he he plays all that good. But that's just my personal opinion. Shout outs to all the Wham Shell fans out there. We got Zook, Series One, of course, one of my favorite looking ones as well. It's hard to not like Zook. Look at this one, absolutely gorgeous. We got Doomstone. This is my second Doomstone in here. I, I can't believe this one's rare as well, but I, I, I understand. Um, he was one of the, the last Whoppers to be released. Not a lot of people grabbed him or they didn't just make enough. Yeah, underrated, not overrated. He's underrated. He's a lot better than Rubble Rouser in my opinion. He's a lot cooler looking for sure. All right, just, ooh, I, I'm, a, I'm a Doomstone fan. Hardcore. Next up is a horse. Trailblazer, um, very unique Skylander for sure. I, if I didn't know better, belongs in My Little Pony. I don't know much about the show, but I mean, literally a pony right here. Sheesh! <laughs> oh, deja vu. One of my favorite trap team cores, man. Love her gameplay, love her look. Look at this, we got Treadhead in here as well. Not as popular as Chopper, uh, but I. I think his design's pretty unique, which makes him cool. And we got Night Shift, absolutely amazing swapper in my opinion. Earlier, we had uh, the Light Core Shroom Boom, but now we have the regular Series 1 Shroom Boom, which I like as well. Not as cool because he uh, doesn't light up, but hes I, I still like this figure. Next up is Zulu, very good Skylander in my opinion of course but um ah man i still i still don't understand what he is apparently everybody said he's a bear of some sorts i just don't see it i don't see it i need i need a, a real life picture of what this animal is next up ooh, yep th this is the reason i got this slot for these guys uh, not only a regular food fight but a dark food fight Ooh, that's amazing look at him good shape um the eyes look like I'm, I'm a whole food fight connoisseur now so i know all the little differences the eyes sometimes can be uh a little bit out of place but i think see look look at this you can see it on on these figures right you got this one right here just looking at you this one just looking looking up a little bit for the most part these look great definitely gonna throw him into the the food fight bin for sure next up is magna charge godly swapper absolutely amazing next up is jawbreaker very good trap master i don't think i've used him too much i honestly i've had the legendary one for a long time and you know just kind of recently just got the the regular one i know there's a lot of people's favorite trap master right here blaster mind this chaos looking wannabe yeah i mean everything like man the figure is pretty cool i like how they have him just floating with his with his cape kind of supporting him i think that's pretty cool very uh, very unique looking skyliner that's for sure next up is series three terrafin the actual name's called knockout terrafin which um looks good as well Ooh, look what came with the nightmare we got the midnight we got the midnight museum so i know people are going to need that for um trap team completion i also have the nightmare express also need this one for trap team completion also got a few more magic items and and one adventure pack got the empire of ice here also have uh we got just um man we got the i think this is the rocket ram right here um we got the um, dang what got the shield what man what's the shield called i man forgot the shield name um i definitely forgot this one the groove machine i think yes yeah, so i got the the groove machine <laughs> i forgot the shield name i'll put i'll put the text here this is our our first damage figure from the slot we got <laughs> he got dark spitfire good news good news we do got the base we do got the base here um so we can honestly we could probably just glue it together like look at it it's like he, he came straight out of the game just without the base all right next up is freeze blade very good swapper very good one indeed got a couple water skylanders here we got slam bam and wash buckler next up is firebone hot dog from swap force um tail is still intact bone is still in mouth this is a good looking skylander all right so now i really have a, a swap force situation here i got a bunch of missing um, tops and bottoms for a, a variety of Swap Force figures. Here I have Kraken. Um, what else do I have? I have 
gorilla. I also have another blast. Also have a shake. And then I also have a stink. Also have a trap and a boom. Yeah, so only only two really I can put on, you know, some bottoms and then I just have you know, a bunch of regular tops. Hopefully I can try to find, you know, the bottoms for, and, and the tops for these figures because these are some good swappers here. So we're gonna go ahead and finish all the figures here. We got Rocky Roll, pretty good trap team core to have, especially for $45 just for this slot. Uh, we got Cobra Cadabra. Also have We Ruptor, little mini. Uh, and then we got Countdown, pretty standard. And we got our fourth <laughs> Ninja Stealth Elf. So our collection is looking pretty good now. And okay, before we move on to the traps, I have some broken Trap Master weapons. Uh, this one's from Wallop, and this one is from Thunderbolt. But what's interesting, I got neither of those figures, so I just have their broken weapons. Oh, also forgot another mini. Uh, we got Fry in here. He was just chilling at the bottom of the bag. All right, so now we can go ahead and move on with the traps. Here we got more um, life hammers. Uh, we got two in this slot. Next up are two more water tikis. I mean, these pr pretty much fall from the sky at this point. I, there's, there's just so much of these damn traps. And then we also got the fire scepter and then an air jug and then an earth hammer and also a tech scepter so we got all these traps here which all look pretty good except the earth one that the symbol on here uh, is a bit scuffed up and then to finish up the slot and the traps we got a dark spider which I knew from the pictures of the lot that th that this was going to be in here what I didn't know is that we were going to get a light owl and a light rocket so we got two more light traps which is just insane the fact that it came in this $45 lot like that that's like these traps alone probably would have cost me more than $45 we're going to check these traps and more importantly we're going to check if this one has the rebel lob goblin in it all right so that one just has a, a lob goblin in it okay all right we got high five in it um there's still hope I'm not expecting it honestly if I had a guess I, I'm thinking it's not it's just gonna be a regular lob goblin but we're gonna we're gonna test it out. No way! No way! It's a rebel. No, I was wrong. It's an actual rebel lob goblin. Very good lot then. Oh wow, that's that's some good. Sh and that wraps up everything I got from these two lots. The $80 lot had a total of 82 figures and six portals, and the $45 lot had 52 figures and three top halves of swappers that didn't have bottoms. So basically, I pay less than a dollar for each figure. Some are very common figures, but I managed to get some harder to find trap team and swap force figures, two dark traps, three light traps, and one blue chest. Overall, I say this was a pretty good Skylander haul, and I'm glad that I was able to find something that I actually needed for my collection. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know which Skylanders and traps you still need for your collection down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and of course, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Seriously, I think I need more tree rexes. I don't think this was enough.